New South Wales Law Reform Commission, Guardianship Act Review, Video 2. When should someone help you to make a decision? Erin Goff, Policy Manager, and Alan Cameron, AO, Chairperson of the Law Reform Commission, are sitting at a desk across from each other in an office. Hello, today we're talking about our current review of the guardianship law and specifically about the first questions we're looking at as part of this review. But first of all, Alan, can you remind us what we mean by guardianship? Well, guardianship is the legal process which allows someone, usually a family member, uh, to make decisions for someone who can't make decisions for themselves. Uh, for example, you may know someone who has appointed an enduring guardian to look after their affairs uh, or indeed you might yourself have been through the process of appointing someone to make those decisions. So our review is looking at the process by which that happens. And how does the law decide when someone can't make a decision for themselves? Well that's a very good question Erin, but a very um, difficult and important one too. Uh, it's often a tribunal or a court that decides whether someone's able to make a decision, but the law doesn't set out the grounds or the way in which um, that decision should be made. Uh, fortunately, the, in New South Wales, the Department of Justice has issued a toolkit that provides some explanation about that. And one of the things we'll be looking at is whether the contents of that toolkit, perhaps in the same or an amended form, ought to be included in the law itself. Guardianship is the legal process which allows someone, usually a family member, to make decisions for someone who can't make decisions for themselves. Courts and tribunals decide when somebody is unable to make a decision, although the law does not set out the grounds of the way in which that decision should be made. And what must the court or tribunal currently be satisfied of before it appoints an alternative decision maker? Well, the answer to that will be different depending upon what sort of alternative decision maker is being appointed. If we're talking about a guardianship order, then the, the question is whether or not the person is incapable of making that decision by reason of a disability of some kind. But if we're talking about a financial management order, the only question is whether the person is capable of making that decision or not. So incapacity, which is the present expression in the law, is the question that has to be solved. When appointing a guardianship order, a court or tribunal must be satisfied that the person under the order is incapable of making decisions by reasons of disability of some kind. A financial manager may be appointed when a person is considered, at law, to be incapable of managing his or her financial and property related affairs. Capacity seems to be a central concept here. Does the law give us an idea of what that means? No, the, as I mentioned a moment ago, the law doesn't really do that. And therefore, the question that we have to decide and recommend to the government about is whether the law should be changed to spell out much more clearly exactly what capacity means. And that will be one of the major subjects upon which we'll be giving advice and therefore upon which we're looking to the public to give us some feedback. Capacity is an important concept when determining guardianship and the law does not provide a clear meaning of what capacity means. One of the major issues to be considered in the review of the guardianship legislation is whether the law should state more clearly what capacity means. What are the problems with how capacity is currently understood? The law seems to assume at the moment that you're either capable of making all decisions or not capable of making any. And the law also assumes that if you're incapable of making a decision at one time, then you're incapable at all times. Uh, so what we need to look at is whether that is the right approach or whether a much more um, general uh, understanding of capacity would work better and more fairly. The review will also consider whether a more general understanding of capacity would work more fairly. And how can members of the public help us decide what changes should be made to the law? Well, we're looking to hear what people's experience of all of this has been. There are a lot of people out there who've had experience of making these decisions and seeing how people uh, fluctuate in their capacity, if you like. 
So we're looking for feedback, we're looking for submissions through our website or just by writing to us on what their experience has been. Thanks so much, Alan. We look forward to hearing from you about your experiences with New South Wales Guardianship Law. The Law Reform Commission will release papers asking people to share their experiences with guardianship. The Commission would like to hear from as many people as possible and welcomes feedback from people who are under a guardianship order, people who have performed the role of a guardian, or people who have made guardianship arrangements. Submissions can be sent via email to nsw underscore lrc at agd.nsw.gov.au or via post to the Law Reform Commission, GPO Box 31, Sydney, New South Wales, 2001, Australia. Please visit www.lawreform.justice.nsw.gov.au for more information.